Hey guys, it's Jenny here, and today I have my August wrap up for you guys. So, um, August was a bit of a slow month for me. Um, it was a very busy month. It's like my busiest month of the year. It is my busiest month of the year. So during August, I was moving the entire month. I had fair week for a whole week. Um, and so we were moving an entire house and doing fair at the same time. So needless to say, with all that chaos, <laughs> It was a little bit hard for me to read, but I did read some. So I ended up reading technically four books in August, although I did just finish one just last night um, that I'm going to cram in with my August wrap up since it was only on September 1st and I just started it in August. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to throw it in there because I didn't even film my September TBR yet. So yeah, so the first book that I read in August was The Mark of Athena. Barry Cray Ordain, um, and I listened to this on audiobook. So this is book three in the Heroes of Olympus series, um, and honestly it was really really good. I gave it a five out of five stars. I really loved the audiobooks. I thought they were phenomenal. Um, I will say that I think I might have enjoyed this experience less than the other times I read it, just because like it was dragging on for me and it was hard for me to get into. Although, at the end, I still did cry. So, there's that. Um, so then, right after that, I picked up the audiobook for Trials of Apollo, book three, The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan. And, like I said, this is book three in the Trials of Apollo series. And I gave this one a four out of five stars. It was really good. Um, it was really witty, and I really enjoyed the dialogue um, in it. But it just... The plot in our story itself was a little bit more confusing than the other ones. I know they all kind of had the same plot, but the direction that the story went was just kind of all over the place compared to um, the Dark Prophecy, and I really love the Dark Prophecy. So it was just kind of scattered, this book was, um, but I still really enjoyed it, and I still bawled my eyes out, so I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. Next, in August, I picked up the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. So, if many of you don't know yet, um, I've been doing this thing this year where I'm like, yo, I want to reread Harry Potter. So, I made this pact with myself that this year, every time I reread a Harry Potter book, it's going to be the audiobook. So, I'm rereading all of the Harry Potters via audiobook. Um, and I just love the audiobooks. They're so good. Um, so obviously I give this a 5 out of 5 stars. And actually, me rereading this via audiobook and then, you know, watching the movie. So yeah, I do this thing where I read the book, I listen to the book, and then I watch the movie right after. And to be honest, I thought Prisoner of Azkaban was one of my least favorites. But this reread made me realize it was one of my favorites, and it's really close up there. Um, so I really enjoyed this. <laughs> it's like reading the audiobooks helps me pick up a lot more details that I just, just the smallest things. They're not even big plot lines. It's just stuff that I never would have realized before reading it physically. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed this, and yeah, I finished it really quickly. So... This was the only physical book I read this month, and that was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, which I know you guys are like, oh my god, how many freaking times is she going to read this book? But, yeah. I read Aquatar again for the fifth or sixth time. I can't remember. Um, obviously, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. <sighs> but this is the first book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. Basically, this, if you guys don't know already from watching my channel, uh, the center's on a girl named Feyre. She's a 19-year-old huntress, and she, uh, she goes on these hunts to, uh, provide her family with food because they are in poverty and they are currently starving. So they depend on her for their food, for their money, and one day she's out in the woods and she encounters this wolf, and this wolf is bigger than the average wolf. And so... 
it's getting in the way of her having a meal for her family. So she kills it. She sells its pelt in the market. And then the night after that, a beast knocks down her door, demands retribution for killing the wolf, which was actually a fairy. So this beast demands, you know, payment for what she did. So it either says her life or she gets to live the rest of her life in Prithian, which is the fairy world. So she gets whisked off to Prithian and after a while being there, she realizes that Tamlin, the monster that took her, is not a beast, but the High Lord of the Spring Court. So she goes on this adventure because he's got this blight that's tarnishing his world and putting everybody in danger. So, you know, they start forming a romance. She wants to do something about this blight, but yeah, it's a good book, guys. It's a really good book. I loved it, and I'm so glad I reread it. And finally, the last book that I read was, okay, guys, I'm kind of epically failing this month. I realized that every single thing that I read this month was a reread except for Child of Apollo. <sighs> so anyways, I read The Selection by Kira Cass, which I started this physically, um, and I left off on chapter nine, and then I just listen to the rest on audiobook. Um, so if you don't know by now, the selection is about this girl named, okay. The selection, what it is, is this competition between 35 girls. 35 girls get drawn from this random pick and they all go to the palace to compete to be Prince Maxon's wife. So centers on a girl named Amanda, Amanda, America Singer, who does not want the selection at all. She doesn't want anything to do with it, but between some pure pressure, she enters, and to her surprise, her name gets drawn, so she gets swept up in the selection, and it's just such a good book. I really loved it. Um, I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The audiobook is really good. And it just goes by so fast. So I'm, I'm really glad I reread this one too. So yeah, that was all I read for August. Um, I don't have the books here to tell you guys what my TBR for September is. A majority of them are at home. I only have a couple here that I kind of want to get to for September. But I'm also having some issues with Scribd right now. So I don't know how many audiobooks I'm going to be able to get. Um... But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for a couple different videos that I have coming up. I have a vlog coming up. I have a big book on haul. Um, I'm going to be having a Barnes & Noble book haul. Um, and then, of course, my September TBR. And we go back to school the day after tomorrow, so pray for me. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and once again, I hope you enjoyed.